we really need to rethink where you're at. You leave Saturday, but the things continue when you are not here. This is a big challenge when you are working with a community. So it's a big challenge to understand how we can, uh, how the people can be responsible or uh, they, can be re they can respect also what, they have, what, what we, we do, so they can use it after, without you. I think it's a big challenge. It's, it's complicated. And uh, for this kind of project, you don't have to be scared to, uh, um, to, um, to pay. Christoph also has worked with other communities um, in Africa and in France um, through a community process. So, um, so we felt it was a good fit um, to work here with the students in the community. Our professors uh, have been kind of working with Taff and Eric for a while, and so they brought back the studio. And um, for this project, we in studio have kind of done a abstracted version of a park for this site. And then now this is becoming a realistic thing uh, with Kristoff. So it's been a really good experience for growth, at least in my opinion, to start to learn what um, real architecture is. That lot at one time had a lot of good concrete in there. We just don't know what's good and what's bad because of all the weeds. So just the fact that it's going to be used by someone is a great step. With the pieces of concrete and planted plants in front of the ramp. So, you know, I mean, you can use the concrete, you know, for something like that. But hopefully for the community, it'll be um, a place that'll bring unity. You can see us, we try to transform, transform to or, or, or time, or effort, or love. The one people are going to start getting more excited because we got to get excited about the place we live. Even if the place we live look a mess, we can transform it. And we can make art and, and love about anything. And what we shall need to start with the passion. Tomorrow well, we meet at 3 o'clock with the students. Okay, we go door by door to people explaining what we are doing, nice. inviting them for Saturday. <coughs> Yeah. Hi. Hi. Uh, we're students at the University of Detroit Mercy, and we've been working with um, TAP. And at 5 o'clock today, we're going to open up the space at uh, the corner of Health and Avis. And inviting them for uh, tomorrow, 5 o'clock. Okay. Because tomorrow, 5 o'clock, we're going to open the gate. <laughs> hey, are you ready? Yeah, we're going to invite the people also. So to come and walk on the land. And yes, check just it out. to open. Symbolically to open the gate and also to launch the, the work. <laughs> we're, do we're documenting it for purposes of legal defense. Yeah! Swimming colder now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> encourage a space for gathering and sharing. We found out a lot of information about uh, the communication within the neighborhood. There's a lot of different, uh, there's just a lot of diversity all around, age and culture and everything. And, you know, we thought that it would be great if everyone could have a place to communicate with each other. So it becomes an important kind of platform. For everyone is learning a lot from each other. Equi students learn a lot from the architects and from the whole community. We meet them. It is amazing to work with French people who came here from Europe just to, to do this uh, installation. And um, it is great. The concept sort of evolved in studio. Uh, and then once we got to the site and saw what we had to work with and the site and everything, we kind of, kind of ditched all those concepts and the designs and really just, like, like Christoph was saying, kind of evolved from the ground up. We just worked with what we had, what the community wanted, and um, it was seeing the transition from studio to, to the real to the situation was really, uh, really eye-opening. And it's just kind of a space that we wanted to give back to the community. And, and the location of the lot is prime too because it's right in the middle of the two blocks. Yeah. So it's a place for everyone to work and gather and get together and talk. Maybe even events, maybe even some plays or stages or some movies we're talking about being projected on here. Um, but yeah, the, it's really as flexible and open as possible so that way the community can kind of create their own functions within the space. It's a small project. 
but it's dealing with big issue. I was, I was talking about the, the, the nature, the plants, and the, the people around. And what I like is uh, we are in, we are inside the community to do this project, and uh, I think it's very important. And even if it's small, we can imagine that we can go to big scale and and more project and bigger project with the same process with the same philosophy. I hope I will be back one day in, in, in this place to uh, see what will happen and to, uh, to, to bring back to the to come back to the, to the people to meet again and to see what uh, what's going on in the city because I'm sure you will uh, create your your future in a good way because you are good people. project is an outdoor art environment and uh, it's, its real goal is to help facilitate relationships. Uh, at Young Nation we, we measure our effectiveness by the frequency and depth of unlikely relationships that are formed between an artist, uh, the youth that were present when the mural was put in, uh, and the homeowners. And so those are three groups of people that don't always get to interact. And so we're always busy trying to you know, leverage TAP to build those types of relationships. Also, TAP includes Studio Loevenos, which is one of the garages that, we, that we've activated. So that's our main garage. And inside of there, we use it as a studio and gallery space. So we can um, present and exhibit things, or we can just meet and gather. Sometimes we just watch films, you know, but it gets used for a little bit of everything. And if we were in there right now, you would see uh, a big mess because there's pieces of about four different projects going on at the same time. And um, when we're doing a good job, that's pretty much the case. So my name is Krista Wilson and I work at the Detroit Collaborative Design Center and help co-teach the um, DCDC sponsored studio. And I'm Christina Hexmer and I also work at the Design Center, the Detroit Collaborative Design Center at the University of Detroit Mercy School of Architecture. And I am also co-teaching the DCDC sponsored studio. Yeah, what we, what we are trying to do is to um, put value on what we've got already. Uh, this piece of land is having uh, water, is having a lot of plants. We call it weed, but uh, in fact they've got names, they've got value. And we are trying to do projects starting from uh, what is uh, already on site. Also, we wanted to uh, reach uh, the needs of the community. So we, we did, a, it's like a botanical garden ready-made. And so we put the name of the plants, we do uh, the, the knowledge of the plants. And after we did a space, a small space for the for meetings, for talks, for events, for the community. In fact, it's very simple. It was to bring back the benefit of this piece of land to the, the whole community. What the heck is they doing? This is somebody's yard. <laughs> this, is every, this is everybody's yard, man. This is somebody's yard. Why are on site all week, um, designing and building and doing improvising and I think the students have been really excited. You know when, when we when we see somebody is doing something, all the people, you, you make the people exciting. It's the first thing to do, try to make on our neighbors, people who live around here, make it exciting about about we can transform. Remember how this place was just a few days ago? Oh, yeah, and now look at that. Look at it. And we use what we have. We, we know that nothing oh, new. Everything was here. We just make it make it uh, nice and beautiful in the way we can. So I think they also learned a lot about um, working together. Working together <laughs> and um, you know figuring out problems on the spot and with the only the materials that you have on site and the tools you have on site and the skills that you have to use on the site. And so um, you know I think there was a lot of creative um, spontaneity and um, and I think uh, it seemed like they had fun working together. So I think that's it. Before we started going to work to build up the physical environment that you see now. Uh, you know, we had to do some planning, and, and that planning was all done in a participatory way with neighbors, you know, where neighbors get to identify things about their community that, that are going well and things that need work, and 
you know, what kinds of actions and activities would they like to see in, in space, as opposed to talking about, you know, I, we need a table or we need a chair. We would instead talk about we need a place to gather, uh, we need somewhere to sit. And then we created specific design solutions for the things that we wanted to see happen. The reason that they wanted to do that was to foster some exchange uh, between Detroit and France, um, but we wanted to make sure that that exchange was done in a way that, that was meaningful. And so process became a lot more important than product. You know, to that I would say, um, if you have that outside influence and that outside influence is committed to processes of community engagement, um, then you actually wind up getting an extra set of eyes to, to see your own space uh, freshly, you know. Um, but, but after seeing that space, the design still comes from a place that that shares your values, and that is, you know, that there's design that's participatory. So for us this week, uh, Christoph was that was that set of eyes that were fresh, that had never seen this community, um, but that was also committed to community engagement. Design Center at the university with the students and with Christoph and um, and also with the French consulate um, who made it possible to bring Christoph here this week um, so that he could help lead this um, one week activation of this lot. So we just wanted to welcome everyone and say thanks for coming and um, please enjoy yourself and thank you so much. A diversity almost like our communities and so you have kind of this microcosm of the neighborhood in the vacant lot we got to remember that number one thing here in the city of Detroit is that our number one asset are the people we have to remember that but in so when we look at this lot we have to realize that you know there are this great diversity of plant materials here with the bulk of these that will be able to provide food. Um, but they somehow got here. So what we're trying to do here is acknowledge that and point that out and make these make uh, the community a little more aware 
of when you walk past this, did you know that these are wild carrots and you could eat these if you, if you wanted to? Or that, you know, this plant here will have mulberries growing on it. We have this, this great diversity of plant material that's providing a situation where people can come and enjoy, you know, the flowers, the smells, you know, so it engages people on many different levels with the senses, the textures, you know, the, the you know, different colors of flowering um, plants. So what we have is just an opportunity to take advantage of some of that right here on, on this lot. place was just an empty span, just an empty, empty span. And now, with a little bit of love and work, see the difference. See what it is, this is what, this is what we need in Detroit, love for the city.